Hey, what is going on guys? So I'm gonna show you how to use the free built-in screen recorder on your Windows 10 machine. So there's nothing that you have to download. There's nothing you have to register with your email or anything like that. It's already built into the system, okay? So for example, I want, I want you to do this right now to your, uh, your Windows computer, okay? Your Windows 10 computer. What you need to do first is open up like a browser or any other application, okay? So for example, I just open up uh, Google Chrome or Internet Explorer, or you know what, I just do um, uh, Google Chrome. Okay, so Google Chrome is up right now. Now what I want you to do is go to your keyboard and tap uh, two buttons, okay, two keys. It's gonna be the Windows key, which is right here, and the letter G. Press and hold down the Windows key, and then press the letter G, okay? Now if you look up here, on my screen, L let me go ahead and uh, turn it off again. Okay, so Windows key and the letter G. If you do it again, that goes off, okay? I'll go ahead and pop that back on here. And then from here, we simply have the record button. Once we press on record, this whole entire screen right here is gonna be recorded, whatever I do on here. You also have a microphone option here. You can either turn the microphone um, off or you can turn it on. We don't have to worry about any of these other options here. We're just basically worried about this one right here, okay? And this, I mean, this over here is like a screen capture, if, or not a screen capture, but a screenshot if you wanna take a screenshot of something. Anyways, how we record is simply tap on this. Now the thing is, if we go into settings here, let me tap on settings here. Now all this stuff, you know, under general, under theme, under broadcasting, under recording, just leave all this at the default, it's perfectly fine. But if we go under here, edit more preferences in Windows setting, if I click on that, and then you have a bunch of other options in here, you know, you can change like the shortcuts and stuff like that. And I think uh, one important thing is uh, if you go under uh, game DVR here, and the thing is like this recording function is, is basically for like gaming, but it doesn't matter because you can record uh, showing tutorials on programs and stuff like that as well. That's what I do. Anyways, uh, under this uh, option here, this uh, game DVR, there's a lot of other things in here. Most of it, you just wanna leave it at default. I mean, audio quality, 128 uh, kilobytes per second is fine. Uh, you know, um, um, let's see here. Uh, capture mouse cursor and recording. Yeah, you wanna basically have that mouse in your recording so people can see where you're going, right? Uh, one thing, if you're, if you're uh, recording games and stuff like that, you may wanna change the video frame rate from 30 seconds FPS frames per second to like, you can change it to 60. And then also if you want to, the video quality, you can change it from standard to high. I, I just leave mine on standard. Anyways, let me go ahead and uh, close this right here. Now the thing is, let's go ahead and do that special key button. Remember, it's the Windows key and the letter G. Get ready, wait, ready, ready. Bam, now this will pop on. Now let me go ahead and press on record here. And as soon as you press on record, now all of a sudden this other window here is gonna pop up here. Let me go ahead and stop this again and let me just show you again, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and start it again. So the Windows key plus the letter G. Now this is gonna pop on here. And then as soon as I click on record, look at the top right hand corner. This game bar here would disappear. Now this appears on the top right hand side right here. Now I can drag this around anywhere I want. Right now it's recording. You can see a timer on here, seven seconds, eight seconds, nine seconds. If I wanted to drag it, I have to click on this right part. Okay, if I, if I click up here and hold it, it's not gonna move. I have to grab it here. Now the thing is, this right here is gonna be invisible. Once we play back the video, uh, people aren't gonna be able to see this, okay? And we have a microphone um, option right here. Like right now, the microphone the microphone is enabled so people can um, hear me speak right now. If I turn it off, boom. Now that I'm talking, they're not gonna be able to hear me, but let me go ahead and enable it again, and bam, my voice is back on here. Now, let's go ahead and, uh, you know, let's just say you know, you're on here and you wanna blah, 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 and then do that, and then we'll go ahead and stop the video right here. Once we stop the video, it's gonna be, it's gonna go into our uh, captures folder, okay? So basically what you do is, you, you go to your file explorer, like go in the bottom right hand corner and right click, go to file explorer, or down here you see this folder right down here. Just go ahead and click on that. And then from here you wanna to go to this PC. And then from here you wanna click on the videos folder. So double click on that. And then here's the captures folder, double tap on that. And here's all your video recording. Okay, that last one I just did is right here. Let me go ahead and double click this so you can hear. Okay, now the thing is, I'm actually using a uh, microphone here. Let me go ahead and unplug it out of my computer so you guys can hear it actually on here, okay? I can drag this around anywhere I want. 
right now it's recording. You can see a timer on here, seven seconds, eight seconds, nine seconds. If I wanted to drag it, I have to click on this right part. Okay, if I, if I click up here and hold it, it's not going to move. I have to grab it here. Now, the thing is, this right here is going to be invisible. Once we play back the video, uh, people aren't going to be able to see this, okay? And we have a microphone um, option right here. Like right now, the microphone the microphone is enabled, so people can um, hear me speak right Let now. Let me just so fast forward. Let's go ahead and, uh, you know, let's just say, you know, you're on here and you want, and then do that, and then we'll go ahead and stop the video right Okay, I want to show you the mic part too, because once I uh... I'm on here now, let's go ahead and uh, you know, let's just say you know you're on here. Wait, let me get to the mic part. Okay, I already stopped the mic. Right, Watch. Okay, so you can hear that as soon as I turn the mic off. Let me go back here again. The microphone is enabled, so people can um, hear me speak right now. If I turn it off. And bam, okay, my now voice you guys seen that. Here. Another thing is too, you can actually edit it right through this window here a little bit. You can see like um, like, like very basic stuff. So if I click on this little pencil here. I can do like a trim for for instance. So if I basically wanted to you know trim out the beginning, you know I can move it. And if, if I wanted to trim the ending, I can just go ahead and move it. And then I can have then I can just save it as an additional copy right there. And then once I save this save that, it goes into the same captures folder. So if I go back in my folder here. And here's the uh, last one, the saved one with the trim that right I just here. made. Now, the thing is, and the see, enabled, so that can... one's only like 15 seconds long. Now, the thing is, even after you record this, what you can also do is you can bring this into your uh, video editing program. Like, let, let me give you like a quick example here. Let me open up my video uh, editing program here. It's uh, Wondershare Filmora 9 right here. Let me double tap on that. Let me go ahead and open it. Now the thing is, if I wanted to do like a quick tutorial on like how to use this video editing software, I can do that as well. I can simply go ahead and push the Windows key and letter G. And then from here I can go ahead and press on um, record. Let me just go ahead and roll with it as an example. All right guys, so you're here, then you wanna go ahead and click on import media files. And then from here, we'll go ahead and import one of these uh, screen recording videos I just made. Click on open. And then uh, what we're going to do is we're going to drag that bad boy right down to the timeline right down here, just like that. Okay, so then I'm going to go ahead and stop this uh, screen recording right here. So I stopped there. And now let me show you this too. So I did do the screen recording earlier, right? So what you can do from here too, if you're showing like a tutorial on how to, how to do something, um, you know, within a, your video editing program, if you're using Windows, you have Windows Movie Maker that's like free. Uh, this one here is like 50 bucks, but I mean, it's definitely worth it. I use this like all the time. Anyways, what, what you can do from here is, you know, for instance, I mean, you can see the video here, Robbie here. Now the thing right is, here. This right here is Let's just say I wanted to like get closer to where my mouse is or short, show like a certain position. I can crop and like pan, or pan. So for example, let's say I wanted to move in and I wanted to start zooming into where it says Google here, like a little rectangle. I can go ahead and cut like uh, right about here looks good. Let me let me go ahead and make another clip here. So I have three clips or two. What is it is that three clips? Okay, so I have three clips here. So this this middle clip here, I wanted to zoom in where the Google is. So what I can do is click on the crop function here, and then I can do a pan zoom right here. Okay, so this is like perfect. Let me move in a little bit more. So so when I uh, click on OK, when it gets to this part of the video. It's, it's going to go from here and it's going to go all the way into this like little tiny rectangle. So let me click on OK and I'll show you like a demonstration. Let me move back a little bit and we'll go ahead and press on play. Look at this window this right, right here. here is going to be invisible once we play back the video. It moves in and then it's going to move uh, back out. Bam. See this, okay? I'll, I'll give you that yeah, one more replay. Like, Ready? This right here is going to be invisible once we play back the video. Uh, people aren't going to be able to so see that's this, just okay? give, that's just to give you guys an example. Anyway, let me show you guys the video that I just made with this uh, video editing platform. Uh, so let's see here. Let me just go ahead and import this and I show some other things that you can do with it as well. So let me import media here. And that last uh, video screen recording I did was right here. Let me just go ahead and open that up. Give that a second here. And then let me just, uh, I'm just gonna put this on the timeline right next to this other video. So here's that video that I just shot in regards to uh, this video edit editing software. So let me just press on play here. Okay, so let me just play this really fast. Let me just go ahead and roll with it as an example. All right, guys, so you're here, then you want to go ahead so and... So you can see my mouse moving. Import media files, 
And then from here, we'll go ahead and import one of these. Uh, so from here, I mean, it's the same thing, you know, if, if I wanted to do a little bit of editing, if I wanted to go ahead and let's say I wanted to uh, go ahead and zoom into this area right here, or actually, let me just so zoom in where the mouse is. And... Okay, so the mouse is like around here. If I wanted to go in there, let me just cut the clip here and then I can end it. Uh, I mean, for just, just for uh, demonstration purposes, let's just say here, I'll go ahead and crop it right there. And then I'll go ahead and grab this. I'll press on the crop icon here. And then let's just, oh, I want to do a pan and zoom. And then, oh, I want to move it, start from there, and then move in closer to like right here, just like that. And then I can just go ahead and me play it. You can see how that looks. It's going to zoom in just like that as well. And then, I mean, of course, I can do a ton of other things too. I can, uh, I, I can add like music on here. I can go ahead and move the crop function anywhere. I can add like transitions, like, you know, if I wanted to, add this transition right here. So I just added that transition and then I'll go ahead and play it and so you can see what it looks like. Let me go ahead and just enlarge in this and then just give you like an idea. All right, let me go ahead and press on play here. And then it's gonna, and then, you know. Anyways, you guys get the message here. If, if you guys need help, just comment below. I'll, I'll try to help you guys out if I can. And uh, that's pretty much it. Guys, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my boring channel. And I'll see you guys on the next one, right? Thanks, everybody.